Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve problem number 2305, fair distribution of cookies. First, we'll see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So in this problem, we are given cookies array. So the values in the cookies array represents the number of cookies. And the indices represents the ith bag. So here the zeroth bag containing 8 cookies and so on, right? And k represents the number of child we need to distribute these cookies. So here we have two children. So we need to distribute all the cookies between these two children, right? So in this problem, we need to find the minimum unfairness of the distribution. So here unfairness represents maximum between the distributions. And we need to take the minimum value out of this maximum distribution right so we are going to solve this problem using backtracking so now we will see how we are going to do this also we can only distribute these cookies as a whole to a particular child we cannot split the cookies within the bag right so initially i will be having a minimum fairness variable where i will initialize with infinity then i will be creating a distribution array so since we have two child, here we are representing two zeros at the start. So which means we haven't distributed the cookies yet between two children, right? So initially I will send the index zero to the backtracking function. So first we need to check whether we have reached the end index. So here zero is not the end index. So we continue further, right? So now we will be writing a for loop to distribute among these two children. So here I will be having a J pointer. So initially I will be at the first child, right? So here we will add the cookies to the first child. So here I will be adding eight. Now I will do the backtracking on the I plus one index. So again, we need to check whether our I is pointing to a index that is not in my array. So here we are within the range. So we continue. So again, I will be executing the for loop. Again, it starts from the first child. We will add 15 to the first child. So here it becomes 23. So again, I will do the backtracking on the next bag. That is two. Again, I'm within the range. So I will continue further. I will be at the first child in the for loop. So I will add 10 to the first child. So again, I will repeat the process. I will be doing backtracking on bag three. So I'm within the range. So I will execute the for loop again. I will be at the first child at the start. So we will add 20 to the first child. So here it becomes 53. So I will be doing the backtracking on the next bag. So again, we are going to get eight. We will add that eight to the first child. Here we are going to get 61. Now I will again do the backtracking on the I plus one element that is five, which is not a valid index here. So when we reach the end, we have to update the minimum unfairness, right? So I will take maximum between distributions. So here the maximum between distribution is 61 and minimum between the unfairness itself and the value 61. So the minimum unfairness, which is infinity and minimum between infinity and 61, it's going to be 61. So we need to update our minimum unfairness as 61 so now we return we return to the index 4 right so now we will be at the index 4 so here basically we are doing backtracking so when we return back we need to subtract this 8 from the distribution so here a difference between 61 and 8 is going to be 53 so i will continue the for loop which i froze before we only pick the first child we have to pick the second child now so our j pointer will be pointing to the second child we need to add this eight to the second child now so here we are just calculating the different combinations of distribution of the cookies right now i, I will do again backtracking on the i plus one which is nothing but the end of the cookies array that is index five so when we reach the end we have to update our minimum unfairness so we need to take maximum between distributions so the maximum between distributions is 53 and we need to take minimum between the previous 
minimum unfairness that is 61 and the current value that is maximum between the distributions which is 53 so the minimum between 61 and 53 is 53 so we need to update the 53 as my minimum unfairness right so we need to keep on doing this right so at some point you will be having the distributions somewhat like 31 and 30 right so 31 will be the minimum unfairness in this example right that's all the logicals now we will see the code so before we code if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel please like and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys so initially i will be initializing minimum unfairness as infinity and distributions will be the list of zeros based on the number of children that is given in the input that is k right so then i will be doing the backtracking on the zeroth index at the start then finally i need to return the minimum unfairness so now we will see the backtracking function so initially when we have considered all the cookies in the input array we need to update our minimum unfairness so we will take maximum value between the two distribution and we will take minimum between minimum unfairness itself and the value that we found using the maximum right after updating we need to return also we can write a condition if the maximum distribution is greater than or equal to the minimum unfairness we can just return we don't have to update that right because we would already have an optimal solution in my minimum unfairness variable right then we will be writing a for loop to distribute the cookies among the children so we will update that to the first child then we will do the backtracking on the i plus one bag in the cookies array after updating the first child we need to delete the i cookie from the first child and we will add that cookie to the next child we will try to distribute that between the children's right that's all the code is now we will run the code thank you guys for watching this video please like share and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys